you see the no trespassing sign posted right here? Yes. Guys, we have a fish on BBC News. All right, y'all, this is a video I never thought I'd be able to make. I mean, this is like reserved for the northerners, you know what I mean? Iced over ponds and lakes in the Dallas-Fort Worth area of Texas, and really, as far down south as Austin, I saw some ice that people were actually walking out on. It makes no sense. Can hardly comprehend it, but we've had record lows this last week in Texas, uh, consistent nights in the single digits and teens, and we have never seen the lakes do what they have done in this video. So we actually get out with Alex Perrick, AP Bassin, and do some ice fishing on a whim. I had no idea he was even available, just gave him a shout after calling up countless friends, and I was like, hey, let's go try this, let's go try this. We have never had this opportunity. The state of Texas has never seen anything like this. Fishable hard water just does not happen down here. So you might see a couple videos rolling out from some of your favorite Texas creators in the next couple days and that might be the last of it you ever see. This may never happen again and if it does it might be decades and decades away to where there is quote safe ice in the state of Texas to ice fish. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. It might be a longer video. I really want to tell the whole story and you guys see me trying to ice fish for the very first time. People are like well how thick is the ice and I'm like well it's the only chance we're ever gonna get so hopefully it's thick enough you know what I mean. So with these record low temperatures came rolling blackouts. People were out of electricity. People were out of water. It happened to us as well. Uh, we kept our faucets dripping so we didn't have any pipes burst. We got very lucky. We had a lot of friends who weren't so fortunate. There was literally no deliveries. A lot of the roads had iced over. There was some very bad accidents in the DFW area. You know, the fact is a lot of these folks are rolling around with summer tires, rear wheel drive cars. It's just not quite the same as up north. And with that, we weren't able to get some supplies delivered in time like ice fishing rods tip-ups. We didn't have anything like an auger, so we're dealing with like second-rate tools. We're cutting holes in the ice with an axe out here. We're having a good old time. I want to bring you guys along for the ride. Let's not delay any longer. Go ahead and get into today's video. It is ice fishing in Texas, a world's first. Let's go. I was gonna ask you the best, the safest practices to find out if the ice is safe. <laughs> like yeah. before I just walk out there. I doubt you guys have anything ice fishing wise. <laughs> just carry an axe with me? Yeah, basically. Oh, man. I mean, like, how many days below freezing would it take for, like, your average pond? Or does it just vary so much by, like, the wind and all that stuff? Every body of water is so different. We could have seven inches on one pond, and then the next pond down the street could be, like, half open water. Can I FaceTime you, or are you, like, naked? Let me flip this for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, my God, dude. It's like Michigan up here. <laughs> you have more snow than we have right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so uh, I'm backing into the driveway that I didn't do the best job uh, snow shoveling, but we don't really have snow shovels, so. Alright, bye guys. Love you both. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Yo, what, what up? Hey, what's going on? If I don't have a spud bar, what's the safest way of walking onto the ice? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, Are there's not I, There's not a good answer, you, is there? Where you at? Got you. I just got kicked off my pond. No way. Yeah. Oh, well, dude, I will meet you in a heartbeat. Do I need to get anything? Because I've got, like, some short rods and whatnot. No, I've got everything. <laughs> okay, cool. Yo, Peric is free out of nowhere with all the equipment. <laughs> Peric said he just got kicked off of his pond. Oh, that's funny. That's very funny. All right, well, looks like we got a day ahead of us. And the whole neighborhood is sledding out here. This is awesome. All right, I'm going to see if this water is... Uh, is it hard or soft? Water is standable, onable. There's some open water out there by the fountain. Look at the water. I mean, there is none. Don't mind. Is that an accurate representation of what the middle should be like? That seems pretty firm to me. That looks like an opening that I was able to kick through. That seems pretty thick, dude. Yeah, it's like the edge is easy to break. Might have to leave that spot alone. I'm gonna wait for Peric. We're gonna go ahead and head to the store, see if I can get anything else for us like an auger before we uh, hit the ice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have picked up Peric and we are at the spot. Check this place out, dudes. Ice fishing in Texas, could it really be possible? Look at the water. I mean, this thing is no bigger than my house. And here Peric comes with the auger. So you're you're stepping on water. Oh God, that doesn't look sick. Why does it break easier in the shallows? Oh my God. You're good. He's <laughs> You're you're going far now. <laughs> this man has got skills. 
<laughs> I haven't ice fished all my life. So how's that looking? Pretty safe? That looks pretty thin. That looks like two solid inches. You have two inches of ice, but two. we're so light. You could stand on one inch of ice, especially when it's like first frozen. The, the, the problem gets when it gets above freezing and then it starts to like melt. But this is so solid. So if I fall through, I don't know if I want you to get me or just get the camera. If you fall through, I'm not getting you. Just don't panic. It's just don't panic. First experience ice fishing, and it's in the state of Texas. So, key, you drill that hole in. Boom. Oh, my. Now, okay. is the fact that you got a little water on top, that doesn't make a difference? No. But you see this, like... Yes. I mean... Oh, really? Oh, it's actually thicker than it looks. Yeah, but... And that's still... That's still thin. That's thin. Dangerously thin. No, no, you're not dangerous. Okay. This is so solid. He said this is so solid. It's funny because my foot went through on the edge. It's like in the shallows. I, I tested the other pond. Yeah, yeah. Like where there's only inches of water, it really doesn't thicken almost. That's because the grass. I got you. See? Like yeah, it's got a more indent. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Thinner. So if we fall through, it's probably going to be in the shallows. <laughs> Look at the tundra looking good out here, by the way. We got to GoPro up, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to get lines in the water. Dude, this is blowing my mind. I've never done this before. He is literally just running out here with all the gear. I'm trying to keep up with my one Walmart rod and reel combo. Look at this. Pitch black. That's crazy. But what happens if we're both standing like semi near each other on this Dude, level this of ice? Is like so this is, he's making me feel good about this. This is so safe. Like we're, we're probably... He's gonna tell us in a second. We might be in two feet, we might be in eight feet. I think this thing gets as low as eight to 10, but like, I might be wrong. I don't know. Oh, you got depth. We got depth? Got he says we got depth. <laughs> He's running live scope over here. The man is a genius. No. Okay. okay, I'm not seeing anything. So there's my bait. Yep, yep. Okay. Might need to give that thing a little 360. Why do you say the light is not, a, just, oh. Like time wise. Yeah. I feel like Texas bass, it's probably gonna be the best between 9 a.m. and 2, 2 p.m. Okay, okay. But that being said, if there's fish in here, they're gonna bite. You wanna venture over there or you want me to? I'll, I'll do it, no, I'll do it. I, I got to, right? I got to. I just need to leave my camera. Oh, that sounds good. See, that's definitely like. Yeah, that's pretty thin. Yeah. I'm hearing more cracks too. <laughs> not that great not that great <laughs> <laughs> that's an inch and a half maybe two inch that's two inches that's probably two yeah <laughs> that's a healthy sheet of ice that's where it has the possibility yeah I don't she, like that. she's shaking yeah i don't like that all right is this little guy is that for me yeah okay tying on the bait of choice one three hundredth of an ounce <laughs> it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay. <laughs> oh my god. So this is what they do up in Chicago. Ow. <laughs> there's gotta be fish in here somewhere. Also, I told them there's been a lot of floods since I fished this place. And like, I don't even know if there's a ton of fish left in here. Ten minutes later, we got ourselves a hole. There's a fish. Shut up. There's a fish. Uh, here I am trying to... Eight feet your way. It's literally in your hole. Oh, it is moving. It is moving. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. You literally see fish moving? All right. P just saw one on live scope. We're gonna have holes all over this pond. At that point, I don't know about the integrity. So when you've fallen through, it was kind of like it felt safe and then all of a sudden it wasn't or no? Nah, every time I've fallen in was because of either current or like walking through something like that. It's hard to explain, but you see where the grass comes into the pond? Yes. That grass gives off oxygen and stuff. Uh, maintains heat, so usually that's not safe ice. Got you. So your power is on every 30 minutes, off every 30 minutes? Like 45 has kind of been consistent. On and off every 45 is yeah. pretty much it. No Stouffer's meals or anything. A couple times I was like cooking pasta midway. <laughs> <laughs> no, like as soon as the power comes on, we're like, all right, let's make some coffee. Let's, uh, <laughs> if we got anything for the oven, let's put it in there now. What's funny is it doesn't really feel below freezing. You know, like if you got those clothes on, you got the layers. Yeah. People are like, y'all couldn't handle this up north. I'm like, dude, I'm not telling y'all you can't handle the heat when it's 105 here. Like who gives a To me, it feels like there's way more power being used in Dallas when it's super hot out. Yeah, I kind of wonder the same thing. It just doesn't seem like there's that much, like I get it that heaters need to run, but. I thought the same thing. Well, we got ice in the islet, boys. Beginner's trials and tribulations out here on the water. We're 10 holes deep and we haven't caught a fish yet, so we might just make a move to a neighboring community and see uh, how they're feeling over there. <laughs> I'm coming in hot. Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the 
But um, no, I haven't caught a fish, but the, the ice is safe and I am filming, so that's a good thing. Yeah, we made a little move. We're on spot number two. Nothing but palm trees out here and sunny skies overhead. Some deeper water right here. This community here, there's a lot of folks running around sledding with the children and whatnot, so I'm sure somebody's gonna call on us and say we're walking on water. Good ice, huh? See the difference? No. Just like the clarity, like how dark it is? I don't know what means good ice though is the thing. That's thicker for sure. Yeehaw, cowboy. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. This is water too. All right. Look, I'm just going off the pros advice and knowledge out here. Thank you. Okay. Okay, day two, round two. Probably the last chance for me to ever ice fish or any of us uh, in Texas possibly ever again. Uh, tomorrow it's gonna get above freezing and it's not gonna be too safe, but look, this is a sight I have never seen, y'all. There's a hockey rink and a hockey net or a goal. Like, on this little pond, on this little neighborhood pond. Never before seen. Anyways, Perrick's grabbing his goodies. I make fishing videos, yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, we yeah. watched you. We watched you in Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure I've been to Disney. Yeah, I mean, you might not feel it. I think we got to make a move. Okay. I mean, you can't. You can see the... The bottom. Yeah. You don't want to just go be blazing, like, do not disturb zone. <laughs> no. We weren't going to go over the garden. <laughs> it yeah. certainly looks like the road to get to the trailer. Four wheel. The only thing we really need, man, yeah. is minnows. Well, Whatever. We can go to the Louisville bait shop. But there's no way they're going to be open. Who in their right mind is buying minnows today? Like, <laughs> the stonks are not doing good. He just said, I like the stock. The lady at the donut shop threw in some donut holes on the house. You got the weather techs in here. You got the old floor mats in the Tesla. You got some all weather stuff. Ah, uh, just whatever it came with. <laughs> the odds of somebody, somebody would have to call. For yeah. Us. Ain't nobody calling. Nobody's even driving. The way Perrick's looking makes it look unsafe. Dude, this is the thickest spot yet. <laughs> How long does it take to drill one with an auger? Five seconds. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting somewhere. Oh, yeah. Eight feet. All right, we're finding some deeper water, but I'm kind of on the hunt right here. We went from like four feet, six feet, eight feet. We're gonna see if right here makes any difference. Maybe uh, hit that 10 or more. Day two holes are dug. Let's uh, see what we can do. All right, Perry just saw a fish going by on live scope. Becca, you said they like the fountains, right? Becca, you said they like the fountains, right? All right, maybe the closer the better. Oh yeah, now we got live scope. Almost eight feet here. About four inches of ice, maybe 12 feet away from the fountain here. There's the bait just above the grass. 7.3 foot. Parrot carries around his rod, his live scope, his camera, his baits, his leader line, his battery to power live scope and the transducer, his GoPro. It's all on a tote. That's the way to go. I'm just figuring this stuff out, man. One day at a time. Seven feet, no fish. Might need to get a little, little wacky here. Hey guys, welcome back to this episode. Oh no. Hey, that's the only one of those I have. You can't lose it, man. Ain't no way. This is the only frostbite bait like this in existence. I gotta get this thing back. It's stuck in the ice. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna have to do, folks. We're gonna have to get fancy on them. The old rod trick. Gotcha! <laughs> yeah! That's how you save your lures right there. That was t that took 10 minutes, dude. You seen it here first over on the Weston Smith channel. Hitting you with all the ice fishing tips. Okay, time for round two, little buddy. Oh, that's a big old cat print. Passing hey, that far, dude. We need to be we need to be very efficient here. And then we'll keep moving. Alright, good. Academy outdoors. On the next Please one. Tell me we turn this off. Uh probably not. Dude, I don't have an extra battery with me. Oh no. Hit this real quick. Let me just do a little quick switch. The other battery's in my car. There's no direct evidence for alien life. Starting route to O'Reilly Auto Parts. She powered right up, boys. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Success. Yeah. Quick trip to O'Reilly's done the deal. Bro, Revamped. You don't understand what we have going on for us right now. <laughs> this could be a once. We might be 40 years old before I call you up and be like, Weston, let's go ice fishing in Texas. <laughs> this is true. We need to catch uh, Do you want to have it on down or forwards? Because down kind of looks two ways at once. Yeah. So you're saying you want to go. Sometimes it auto adjusts, but yeah, like on down, it'll look two ways. Okay, there we go. Five feet. Drag her down. Drag her down. No way. No way, dude. He's got one. He's got one. <laughs> oh, snap. No way. That right there. bass. Dude. <laughs> Success on the ice! I cannot believe Eric just caught one. Caught a largemouth bass through the ice in Texas. Can we switch this around? Who cares? Look at that. BBC News. Stay tuned. And that right there is a largemouth bass. Ice fishing. Oh! Yay! yay. All right, man, now we are amped up. The first bass out of the ice I have ever seen in the state of Texas, possibly the last if we can't get on some more, but he said he saw three on live scope right then and there. I literally just got back from a 10 minute drive to O'Reilly. I grabbed us another battery so we could run the transducer. That way we could at least check the depth and see if maybe there's some fish swimming down below. Now that we're back, he moved over to that hole and boom, lights out on the lipless. So I'm dropping down a little micro lipless guy right here, one of his frostbite baits. See if we can get on some fish, man, pumped. No way. Oh, oh! I had one. No grass. Oh my god. First bite. Got him, got him, got him. No! I had him. Oh! Got him, got him. No, fuck! How's it going? Yes, it's been insane. We have had below freezing temperatures now for four straight days, and uh, we're gonna have some cold temperatures for the next couple days as well. So I'm taking advantage of it and, and on the ice. You most certainly are. Now I've gotta say, it's colder in Texas than in Alaska at the moment. You're used to this kind of conditions. You're the owner of fishfrostbite.com. You sell ice fishing equipment, so... <laughs> We have a fish! We have a fish on! Oh! Oh! Yes! We have a fish on BBC News! Yes! randomly sets up this BBC World News interview oh, today. Wait, I said that was my first fish, I mean, that was my second fish. <laughs> Perry just caught a fish through the ice on Live World News. That's funny. He's talking to him about the rolling power outages in Texas. That was from London, I think. You could tell they were so nervous, like, oh, the fish. <laughs> like, oh, he's gonna kill the fish is what they thought. That was insane, all right, we gotta soak this up. Caught a fish today. I don't know if we're gonna get much else. The sun is actually going down. It's getting very frigid. Y'all saw me, I had a couple fish on. Whew, couldn't secure the bag today. There's always tomorrow. That's probably gonna be the last chance I get for the next 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years out here in Texas. Hope you guys enjoyed this portion. I'll catch up with you in just a second. 
Oh, are you kidding me? Right when we leave? Who cares? Oh my god, they got two costumes. <laughs> Do they really? Hi, Alden. Hi. I'm kind of all concerned about you guys being out there. Got it. Yeah, it's totally safe. Is it your property? No. Do you know whose property it is? No. And you see the no trespassing sign posted right here? Yes. Both of you guys have your ID on you? Yeah. What do you think, bud? You just got threatened with criminal trespassing. Are you okay with that? Well, the fact is, once in a lifetime opportunity to catch some fish, ice fishing in Dallas. We saw this spot on Fish Brain. People are blowing it up. Lots of catches, so we figured we had to give it a shot. Pay, paid off. This shot doesn't look really good. <sighs> it looks ironic. <laughs> well, what can we do? <gasps> oh! Oh! Yes! We have a fish on the 